Hey, my love bugs, and welcome back to Honey T Tarot. Here we are with another channel message. Um, can we talk about how thin the fucking veil is right now, or are y'all not not seeing it? Like the shit is busted wide the fuck open, okay? And if you got spiritual eyes to hear and spirit spiritual eyes to hear, spiritual eyes to see and spiritual ears to hear, baby, you can see what's going on under over <laughs> everything. Can, can we talk about the veil being busted wide the fuck open? Or y'all not experiencing that? Let, let, let me know. Let me know. Um, But the veil, if you don't know, baby, the veil is busted wide the fuck open. And it has been so for a while now. But especially when we came into this year of 7, 2023, it's been busted wide the fuck open. Baby, baby. Um, y'all can, if you have spiritual ears to hear and spiritual eyes to see, you are able to see, um, what type of contracts you have within your family or why you are, you were, you chose, or you were put in the family that you're put in. You're able to see who your mother used to be in the past life, who your father may used to be. You're just able to see shit for exactly what it is. You can actually see who the fuck been trying to play on your top. OK, especially those that's trying to figure out, like for those of you, that's the chosen one of the family, the, the only one out the family in years and decades that has chosen to, to pick up and walk with their gifts, their abilities, their talents, to tap into source, to get a connection and a communion and a, a bond with the most high. OK, the, you are able to see who is playing on your fucking top. OK, you are able to see who is jealous, who is mad, who is envious. The fact that you have all you, you, you chose, you made your choice. That, that was it. Like, don't get me wrong. I was about to say it ain't nothing special about you. It is something special about you, baby. It is. But what made you specialer is that you chose to choose the divine. Okay. And people can see it. People can see it. Like, for example, this was probably like a week ago, right? I'm telling my mom and shit. And I gifted my mom. Well, I didn't give her anything. She kept talking about she wanted cards or whatever. So I had gave her um, a, a little mini deck that I had bought some years ago or whatever. So I ended up giving it to her or whatever. And that was like a year now, two years ago now. But last week or so, she pulls out the cards and all of a sudden she wants to read me. Mind you, I have this thing. I didn't tell her this at first, but I have this thing where I have a, pers uh, a protective um, energy. I protect the spirits covering me and protecting me in the realms protecting me from people that have low vibration or ill intentions when trying to tap into my energy or they think they gonna figure some shit out right so my guy is gonna shuffle up the fucking board on your ass okay like you gonna get confused before you get any answers baby that's just how it is so she's trying to read me right and she's shuffling she she pulling the cards or whatever then the first time she like no this isn't right this isn't how i want it do it again, shuffle them again. No, this isn't right. This is how I want it. Now, she done did it like three, four times, right? Now, I'm watching the cards and how they're flipping. They're literally, I'm telling you, they were shaking that shit up on that table. I'm watching the cards and how they were flipping. Okay, so I let her, you know, do what she do for a few more times. And then I was like, Ma, you need to be reading yourself. Instead of trying to type into my energy and read me, you need to be reading yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't start... Um, energy healing work, just jumping and trying to heal everybody the fuck else. I started with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? You need to start with you. So I'm telling her like, yo, you jump, you, it's not going right. Cause you need to read yourself. You can't tap into my energy. You got to read yourself. So she's still trying. And she was like, you know what? I'm just done with this because they keep, they keep messing up and it's not going the way that I want it to go. And then that's when I told her, like, I have protective energy. I have my, my firewalls of protection set up like that. If your energy is not pure, if it's not of pure intent, okay, if you do not have the, 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 the the, the best intentions for me. If you're not tapping into my energy for high positive vibrational reasons, then you can't get into my motherfucking energy. That's just how I, I tap this shit. That's how I, I, done, I done made this math math, okay? That's how this work around here. You can't get in my energy, okay? My, I'm telling you, they gonna shuffle that shit up on your ass all the time, every time. You can't play in my energy. And I made it like that. <clears throat> That's one thing, mind you. That same night, we chilling this shit. She, she's drinking, she's getting drunk. Mind you, this, the, the veil is so thin. 
so fucking thin. She's drinking, she's getting drunk. She's saying certain things that's like my spiritual ears are catching. And then my spiritual eye was just open and I could just see her for like who she is energetically, who she is every lifetime, who she was in a previous lifetime. And um, I could see her for what, what she actually was. And I ended up telling her, I'm like, yo, my, you know, you tried to kill me in the past life. She was like, what? No, I did it. No, I did it. So why I pulled the car? So I pick up her cars. I cleanse them, you know, with my energy and shit. And I pull. Why the first two cars that come out? Well, them the only two cars that came out because I stopped pulling after that. The two cars that came out was Death and the uh, Queen of Swords. Baby girl, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. You offed my ass in a fucking past life, okay? For whatever reason. Mind you, then, she again, she's drinking, getting drunk. I can just see her for, like, who and what she is. Her energy for what it is, right? So, as she's, I guess, in a sense, ascending but descending. Because it was like she was going up and down. It was like woman I could see her as a goddess, as an empress in her god body energy. And then I could see her in her lower self. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's like she was jumping. She doesn't really know how to merge it yet. Whatever. So... Um, she's drinking or whatever, blah, 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 and whatever feelings that she may have been having, she was just saying little shit, and I was picking it up, I was catching it, and you know, I didn't say anything about it, but I'm like, I'm seeing shit for what it is. So we getting ready to go, she want to give extra hugs and extra kisses and blah, 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 or whatever. Oh, I'm getting these nice messed up. It don't matter, same shit. Um, anyway... So she wanted to give us extra kisses, extra hugs, blah, 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 this, that, and the third, right? So she's drunk. She she gave me, she didn't give me like 10 hugs before I could even get out the door. Now I'm trying to hurry for rush to get the fuck out the door because I don't get, I don't, I ain't like the energy from all the touchy, touchy, filthy, filthy. I ain't like that shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? My mom ain't never did nothing to me or like, you know what I'm saying? Touched on me or, or no shit like that, like ever growing up. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like none of that. So it wasn't that type of vibe, but I was getting that type of vibe. If you get what I'm saying. Um... So I'm trying to leave out the door and shit. So she was like, Nene, come give me another hug. So I give her another hug. And she was like, why are you leaving? Stay. But the way that she said it in my ear was kind of, you could tell what type of energy she was, she was in and she was on. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Why do you want me to stay? So I got the stories mixed up. That was the first night. The second night was when the, the car pulling and shit. And I ended up telling her, um, you know, she killed me before or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And who we used to be in past life. And she was like, no, no. And I was like, mom, even last night it was weird. You, you trying to tell me it wasn't weird that you kept giving me hugs. And then when I'm trying to leave, you like, no, why, why don't you just stay? Why are you leaving? Just stay. Like in the way she said it, it wasn't what she said, y'all. It was not what she said. Anybody that works with energy, frequencies, tones, it's not what she said. It was the energy, the frequency, and the tone that it was vibrating on that had me feeling off and had me feeling weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I could see right through that shit. And I ended up telling her. And then, of course, she told me I was crazy. But my mom is starting to get into spirituality a little bit. So she know I ain't fucking crazy. So I ended up telling her, I was like, you know, instead of trying to argue with me and tell me I'm crazy, why don't you just go sit at the seat of your fucking soul? You know, get the answers. You commune with the most high. You tap into your abilities, your gifts, and your talents. And then you come back and tell me that I'm fucking wrong. Because I know I'm not. So she was like, you know what, Nene? That's fair enough. We going to do that. All right, she ain't come back about it, about it yet or whatever. It's been like maybe a week or two now. She ain't said nothing about it yet, but we have also spoke and, and hung together or whatever since then. And I can tell that she can tell that it's the fucking truth. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I can tell that she has had some type of insight, some type of guidance, some type of awakening that who I, who I was to her in the past life of, of what energy I carry, what energy she's carrying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this veil is so fucking thin, y'all. It's so thin. And if you tune your spiritual ears, if you tune your spiritual eyes to see and hear truth, <laughs> baby, truth, not this man-made truth. I'm talking about universal truth. If you can train your ears and your eyes to see universal truth, you a bad motherfucker right now, okay? Can, can we talk about how thin the fucking veil is? I know y'all, I know I ain't the only person that has experienced something. And then, and then what's crazy is with my father, years ago, uh, I was like 14 years old, whatever, my father pulled up on me drunk 
and tried to basically tried to get me to go home with him. And of course, the next day, you know, told me I was crazy. I was bugging. That never happened. No, the fuck I'm not. You know what the fuck was up. But um, even with your parents, you may have experienced like not no wild, crazy ass shit, but some wild, crazy shit. Again, I've never experienced no shit like that with my mom until that day about a week or two weeks ago. But years ago, I had that experience with my dad where he put up on me drunk as hell. I got a song about it and everything. Uh, well, not a whole song about it, but I, it's in a piece. That part is in a, a piece of one of the songs that I have wrote or whatever back then. Um, but yeah, like I'm starting to be able to see what type of family and who these people actually are. Are y'all able to see it? Are y'all able to see it? Let me know if y'all are able to see it. Okay. And I ain't gonna cap, my mom been a little different to me too. Like since I told her that, she ain't been like wow, excessively different. Of course, not trying to make it noticeable, but again, when you got eyes to see and ears to hear, you can you can feel the change in energy. You can feel whatever um, energy or emotions or intentions or feelings is behind what people are saying, doing, or their actions. You know what I mean? Like shit just been crazy, y'all, but crazy beautifully because it's like it's like. It's like chess, but you already know your opponent's next move. Should you already know how to fuck the game going in, and it's going in with you hitting that checkmate? Like you get what I'm saying? Like, can we talk about how fucking thin the veil is, y'all? Yeah. And did y'all hear that notification? Checkmate. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be like checkmate. Like it, it's like it's like you got the fucking. It's like the teacher got a fucking test next week, and you already. Know what every what every question is gonna be. You already got your answers lined up. You feel me? And not because you cheated, not because you took the um, you know what I'm saying, the answer sheet and you was cheating. No, not even. It's because you got eyes to see and ears and eyes to see and ears to hear. Okay, and you just been adding shit up, putting two and two together, to been making sure the math been math, and you've been doing the inner work, the inner healing. Okay, you've been broadening your perception, your heart space. You've been learning how to expand that outwardly. Okay, you, you've you been learning how to transmute energies. Like, you already know what's coming. It's like, it's like that's so raging. I'm getting a vision. <laughs> Dead ass though. Like, you already know what's up. Okay. I don't know why I want to pull these cards for you, but I do. <laughs> this was definitely not supposed to be no pulling of no cards, but... I'm going to do what I feel called to do, baby. Holy Spirit, any energies or any insight that these people, that your children, that the collective needs to be aware of? How y'all doing today on this beautiful Friday? On this beautiful Venus Day? Take some time to pour into you and to love you. Show yourself some love and some appreciation. So we got student, engineer. I can't make this up. You've been putting in the work. A virgin and damsel. You've been putting in the work, okay? You've been familiar, familiarizing yourself with the universal laws with nature, with who you truly are, with what you truly desire, what you deserve. You have been cultivating, maintaining, and maximizing your energy, learning how to transmute energy, learning your triggers. Like you've really been doing the work internally on a soul level, on a soul plane. You feel what I'm saying? You've been the engineer of your engine. Okay. You've been the the engineering of the plane, like you, you don't, you, you're the reason why this shit is running. You've been putting in the work, okay? You've been understanding how life works, how God works, how universal laws work, how universal truth work. You've been understanding as, as like so above, so below, as above, so below. All right, version. You're, you're starting to see the beauty in life. You're starting to see. I'm also getting the truth in life. Y'all guys got this. Don't think that you fucking crazy, okay? And this happened a week ago, two weeks ago, maybe. It's a week to two weeks ago now. And I ain't gonna cap. I was thinking about doing a video on it when it first happened. But I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna do a video. Maybe this is just for, you know, for, for me to experience, for me to have this wisdom and this knowledge. You know what I'm saying? For me to understand and understand. But I woke up 
today is something I was like, I sat here like I normally do do my meditation, you know, tapped into God to see what God wanted me to tell y'all. And this is what came out when I pressed the record button. So I know that this is going to help somebody because this was not on my mind to tell y'all. I'm not lying. This was not on my mind to tell y'all. I did not plan on even sharing this experience with anyone. I was just taking it in the back of my noggin. You feel what I'm saying? And, and having it there because I, that's what I needed to know. Okay. Um, so I hope that this helps somebody. You can go ahead and drop your experiences down below as well. If you haven't had anybody to talk to or shit, maybe you don't even think that anybody else is experiencing this type of shit. Maybe you think that no one is seeing like family for what they are. Like you not crazy, baby. You not crazy. Okay. You got eyes to see and ears to hear. That's it. But you not crazy. I love y'all. Mm -hmm. Namaste.